Hey everyone, this is Chris here on my desk setup, and uh, I've seen some discussion on the forums about confusion on how to set up a laser for your SLB. So I thought I would make a quick video to show you how to go through that process. So this is my demonstration board down here. And the first thing I'm gonna point out is that if you're using a PWM uh, laser output, then on this laser plug, you need to make sure you're using the bottom two plugs. Uh, not the top one. The top one is for an enable signal, which works for some other lasers, uh, but most lasers just need the PWM and the ground signal. So um, that's what I've got plugged in here. Now I don't actually have a laser plugged in, I've got it plugged into a multimeter to get the voltage uh, so that you guys can see when I turn it on and off. So that's the first thing. Uh, the second thing is um, that you always want to make sure when you connect to your SLB that at this first connection part, you open up the firmware and you make sure you've selected Gerbil HAL. Um, so make sure you do that. And other than that, um, the board that I'm using here is the COM4 board. So I'm gonna open that up. And um, I know that this is my board and that it's working because if I do a little, some little test jogs here, you can see that it's flashing up green, uh, which I would expect it to. So here's the process that we're gonna go through for setting up the laser. So first of all, you wanna to go to the settings at the top right corner here, and then you wanna to go to spindle laser. And on here, you wanna make sure that the spindle laser tab is turned on, uh, because that's what's gonna turn on the tab down here. And um, for the long board and for older versions of G-Sender, you had to go in and change the values here um, but as of Gsender 1410, which is the latest version, uh, you don't have to touch these anymore. So um, if you want to make your setup process easier, I recommend you update to the newest version of Gsender. So I'm not going to use these. Instead, I'm going to exit out and I'm going to go to the firmware. So in the firmware, I'm going to scroll down here and uh, there's going to be a couple key values you want to find. So the first key value that we want to find is the uh, laser mode, which is $1.32 here. And uh, by default, uh, this is a fully defaulted board here. Um, we're going to have uh, the spindle values for minimum and maximum, and we're going to have the mode of operation as normal. Um, and then what we're going to do is down at around 300. I missed it. We've got the default spindle here, 395. And by default, um, the default output is going to be going to the SLB spindle, which is to say um, there's uh, spindle PWM outputs on the SLB as well as laser outputs. And so um, if you want to use the laser outputs, you can select SLB laser. And if you want to use the spindle PWM outputs, you select the spindle. Um, for the time being, I'm going to just leave this as is, but if you're going to be using the laser more full time on your machine, then I'd recommend changing the default to SLB laser. Um, but I'm going to leave this as is for now. And then if I go further down, um, you can see the ability to select uh, other uh, optional spindles. And right now you can see SLB laser is set up as uh, spindle one, which is uh, basically, it's the spindle after the default spindle, so it's the next one in line. Um, other than that, the only other settings that you really need to check are way at the bottom. You've got your maximum laser power, uh, 730, which is typically set to 255. Your minimum laser power, which is usually set to zero. And then you also have down here the ability to set an offset between your laser and your uh, router or your spindle on your machine so that when you switch over to it, it'll automatically apply the offset. Uh, this you might recognize from uh, what used to be in the settings area. Uh, you now do it here in the firmware. Um, so because I'm just testing, I haven't set a laser offset, but you'd want to set it here. And then basically, uh, once all that is set up, then all you need to do is go to the spindle laser tab, um, click this drop down to select the SLB laser output, and then turn on the laser mode. Um, now that's done two things. First of all, it's um, given me a laser visualizer here, 
but also it said it turned on the laser buttons for testing as well. And so basically what I do now is that um, I should just be able to turn it on and I'll get a voltage down here. So I'm gonna, I'm just gonna click laser on at about 55%. And you can see what's happened down here is this red light has turned on and that means that the laser is on and also that I've got a voltage here. Um, now obviously I can change that amount so if I go up to like 73% the voltage changes if I go down uh, lower the voltage is going to change and if I turn it off oh there we go the voltage is going to change going downwards and then if I turn it off entirely it turns off the voltage coming out of it. Um, you can run this for laser testing too and then basically if you ever want to switch back to the spindle um, you can just click out of laser mode and go back to the spindle and you should notice that if you are now on the spindle mode and then you turn it on uh, now you get a white light up here instead which means that the spindle is turning on for PWM output. Um, if any of this process gets stuck up at any point I can recommend that you try just uh, using the power switch on the SLB to turn it off and back on again um, and then just going through the steps again and that should usually do it for you. If that isn't working then I would recommend that in the console you type out the command $RST equals dollar and send that command. Once you send it it's going to reset the firmware for your machine um, to the default values because the default values we know that they work and so just in case you've changed anything this will reset it back to the start just to give you a baseline to work off of um, just keep in mind that if you set up other things then this will erase it so um, you might want to note down any of the things that you've changed um, also when you send this you have to after you're done sending it you have to turn off the board and turn it back on again to make sure the reset takes a full effect. Um, so that's about everything that you should know to set up a uh, laser on your SLB. Let me know if you have any questions and I'll try to think of anything else I can say to clarify it in the comments. Thanks guys!